All right, Rockstars, welcome on board. I'm Quentin from the POS Expertise team, and today we are going to unravel the mystery of connecting a worldline payment terminal. I know, configuring payment terminals might sound mm, complicated, but trust me, after this webinar, you will feel like a pro. Our goal is to equip you with all the knowledge and tools you need to get your terminal up and running with minimal fuss. What can you expect with integrated hardware? Basically, the amount will be sent to the payment terminal. Transaction will be validated or not, depending on the payment provider. And for now, refunds are not yet integrated, but this might change in the future. What are where is compatible with Odoo for payment terminals? You always need to check the following elements. Payment provider integration, which country you are from, which model, and if you need IoT or not IoT. It can be either a physical IoT or virtual IoT if you have Windows computer. You have to pay attention of version of Odoo. And you have to know that for worldline payment terminal, IoT is mandatory. And you need one IoT per payment terminal. The supported protocol is CTEP. And you can connect only through TCP IP, not the serial connection. Worldline is supported in the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg, and we hardly recommend you to use Yomani XR and Yoximo as payment terminals. All right, let's dive into the setup process. I walk you through it step by step, and we will keep it simple and results oriented. What you have to know is that the payment terminal and the IoT need to be on the exact same network. So, a uh, good tip is to use an Ethernet cable. Also, you need to know that there is no test model for Worldline, so you will need to implement it directly on your production database. Also, give time to the terminal to read the instruction. Don't enter them too fast. Be patient. Well, let's now connect first the IoT box, but just before connecting the IoT box, make sure that you went into the point of sales configuration, into the settings, to activate the Worldline module. You can go here in Payment Terminal and activate Worldline here, just like this. You can save. And then you can connect your IoT box. Of course, there is another video, a very great video about IoT box that I will suggest you to watch before implementing the Worldline payment terminals. Then you will be sure that everything is correctly configured before the next step. So, once the IoT is set, once you have the proper Worldline module, you can now proceed to the next. So, first thing first, we need to ensure that our Worldline terminal is set to communicate with the POS correctly. To do that, we will configure the ECR protocol. So follow those steps carefully. On the terminal, just press the point button, then three, then stop three, then zero, then nine. Then you can enter the technician password. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. I repeat, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Then press OK. Navigate to four, then two, and select CTEP as the ECR protocol. Of course, confirm each step by pressing OK. Then, once it's done, let the terminal restart automatically. And a quick reminder, don't rush through these steps. The terminal needs an amount to process each instruction. So be patient. Once the restart is complete, we will be re ready for the next step. All right then. Step two, set the IP address. So in order to know the IP address, you can go there in the IoT app. Click here and check the IP address from your IoT box. So it's 10, 50, 118, and 8. 
Now that our terminal is set to the right protocol, we need to establish a stable connection between the terminal and our IoT box. So this is done by getting the IP I just showed you. So now you can repeat the button sequence, the point, then three, then stop, three, zero, nine, then enter one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, just as before. Navigate to four, to nine, set the TCP IP configuration. Enter the IoT box IP address, so the address I just showed you. You can type it digit by digit, confirming each with OK. Then set the port number. Use 9001, 9001, or 9050 if you are using a Windows IoT box, so virtual IoT box. Once that's done, the terminal will restart again, and we are almost there. Just one final step left. All right, we are almost there. So now you can see read the cards on the payment terminals, which is a good sign. In order to be sure, you can double check just right here on the IoT application. You can check here that your payment terminals is connected to the IoT. If it's not the case, what you can still do is to go on the click here on the address of the IoT homepage and restart the IoT. Then it will update all new connections. Okay, now let's go into the point of sales settings. So click here on point of sales, configuration, and configure your payment method. What you can do is to add a new payment method, what, what we called here Warline, of course, um, and link it to a bank journal. Then click here, integration terminal, and let's integrate it with Warline and select your device. Perfect. Let's save. Once it's done, don't forget to check if your payment method is available in your point of sales. So go back to settings, select your point of sales, and check that here in payment method, you, you have Wordline as payment method available. Once it's done, perfect. Let's save. And now it's time to pay. So open a session just right here. Let buy our product, pay, and select your payment method. Payment successful, so now it's up to you.